Hello everybody and welcome back to Dying Light 2. Stay human. It looks like Sophie's not here. Think we I better must... look for her. Must be Dad. It's still early. I'm looking for Sophie. Where'd she go? Said she had important business to attend to. But you can wait here with us. If you came to find out if I have a boyfriend, I don't. Which doesn't mean you have the slightest chance with me. Because you don't. If you think I was interested in whether you have a boyfriend, I wasn't. Which doesn't mean if you change your mind about my chances, I'll change my mind too. Fine. What brings you? You take care of Barney today. That guy is like a neon sign that reads Big Trouble. Right. Just the thing. Hey, have you seen Sophie? Sophie? Uh, yes, she went. Uh, she said that. Uh, she went that way. Exactly. Thanks. Wait. It'll be There's no more. One I'm more thing. Something's wrong with the... Uh, not working with the... It's broken. That... Uh, oh. Dad's asking if there's something wrong with your radio. Oh, uh, it hisses sometimes, but as long as it works, no point messing with it. Um, can I ask you a question? Sure. Call me Aiden. Vincenzo. Uh, Aiden? How do you become a pilgrim? Does that mean you're a murderer? Vincenzo! Why... What do you... Why would you... Dad, I'm asking because I'm curious. Will you tell me, Aiden? I'm not that exciting. I've had to kill people, but I'm not a murderer. All being a pilgrim is to me now is a means to an end. To what end? Vincenzo, leave him alone! To find the only family I've ever known. Did you? Not yet, but I might be close. I hope you succeed. I've never found Federico. Who? Federico. He was my best friend. We were like brothers. We'd known each other forever. He disappeared like the other kids. Because of those fucking tests. I hope he's alive. And that you find him someday. All right. Me and you are the same. Only the other way around. I'm here. How's your radio? Working now? Sometimes it works. Sometimes, no. Roll the dice. Susie, Logan, I swear I'll tear them apart and eat the pieces! Bertie! Ralph! To your health! I love you. Where's Ralph? What now? Do you remember the beginning of the fall, Aiden? <laughs> Vaguely. I remember it as if it were yesterday. We'd been defending the church against infected for some time. My mother was in charge. She was losing dozens of people every day. She was keeping everyone alive while I was keeping an eye on Barney. She begged the peacekeepers for help. But they ignored her. Eventually, she was injured. It was dawn. They led me to her. To the roof of the sacristy. She saw me and made me promise to look after my brother. <laughs> she said it as if she was lending me a car and asking me to have it returned intact. After that, she appointed Carl as her successor, with me at his side. You'll grow up to be a far better leader than Carl, she said. But while the world is burning, people won't listen to someone so young. She was wrong. I've been thinking like that all my life. But not anymore. Now I there understand my mother. Looks cool. You have to be ruthless to be a leader. I wasn't ready then. 
I am now. I think I know what you're talking about. And I know what loss is like. Talking about someone in particular? <laughs> about my sister. I'm sorry. Yeah, maybe you don't have to be. We'll find out. That's why you came to town. For her. Yeah. Sophie, we have to talk. Time to act. The quicker zombie, we do yep, this, the less prepared Jack and Joe will be. Dummy. Aiden. Aiden. And we started on the wrong foot. A sip of courage. Should you be drinking this much before the mission, Barney? Me? <laughs> I got the toughest liver in Philidor. Worry more about yourself, Pilgrim. Wait, where's Sophie? There. On the rooftop. I'm watching you, Pilgrim. She get over there. <laughs> All right. Apparently the peacekeepers are watching us. Well, let them see what happens to Jack and Joe, and that we can do it to them too. Well, you said it was time to act. We're acting. I sent three scouts towards the camp. Carl and the crystals must be somewhere inside the building. Binoculars. Or my binocular bandit camps. Approach bandit camp and use binoculars to identify entry points. And locate the camp leader and identify potential environment opportunities. To take over the bandit camp, you need to kill the camp leader and his lieutenants, and then claim the uh, and then claim the camp flag tower. When you claim the camp, you'll establish a safe zone and earn additional rewards, XP, weapons, outfits, etc. All right. Not many guards. Most are probably asleep. There are a few entrances to the camp. The front one, suicide. It's got the most guards. You go in first, we'll move in from the other side. And then we'll catch them in a pincer movement. If anything goes wrong, we retreat to our base. Where? The Tango Motel. So I'm just gonna go in there and start killing some people? Ooh, yippee. It's okay to say if we're playing a zombie game. But also, since these bandit people are horrible. Stealth. Distract enemies, coins, bottles, and bricks. Um, sneak attack. Change of plans, Aiden. They attacked our safe house. Who? Sophie? You have my men there. Find Carl. Save him and get our crystals. Fast. I'll do what I can. Probably should not have done that. <laughs> Come at me, boy. Come at me. Come at me. Come at me. Dodge this, motherfucker! Yeah, would you go me? I missed. I missed. How? I just cut off his arm. Yep, definitely cut off his arm. Oh, man's got another hoodie on him. Alright, I'm claiming this. Let's go, final tip for every day. Whoa! Jeez. There we go. Trophy, flag burning. Bravo, Pilgrim. Pilgrim, where's everyone else? They were attacked. Where are the crystals? Over there. Radio Sophie, fast. 
Alright, alright. Do it now. Come on. Sophie, I have Carl. He's okay. What about you guys? Sophie? Sophie? Are you there? You have to help the maiden. Where should I go? Tango Motel. Sophie's hideout is there. Run. Fast. Go to the Tango Motel. Jack and Joe are just plain sneaky scumbags. I do what a mask is for or something. Hey then. I heard some noises coming from Jack and Joe's little village. That's not all, Hakon. Sophie and Barney's hideout was attacked. It could be peacekeepers. Fuck. Remember what you're here for, Aiden. We were supposed to get into the central loop and not get involved in local conflicts. Don't get involved in this. Go back to the metro. We will share what we have with Aitor, and maybe he will let us pass. Uh... I don't know. Where should I go? Uh, I have to go, Hakon. I promised to help Sophie. Besides, that's the only way to get to the truth. Okay. I'll be in touch. And plus, we have to. The only way she can trust, that we have to earn her trust. And if we betray her, she's not gonna like us anymore. So we're gonna kill us. Alright. Alright, alright, Who's here? Shit. I'm too late. No, dear. Sophie! Barney! You there? Turn on your flashlight. Sophie? Sophie, report in. Mama, kill me. Sophie, what the hell is going on? Report in. Where do I have to go? Stop. No. Down! Gee. I knew it. I knew it. Found the room, maybe. Nothing but scraps. This is eight sword. Does anyone hear me? Cool. This is Aiden. Your men are dead. I was actually starting to like you. You brought the peacekeepers here. I helped you. You betrayed us. And now we have to kill you. Helped Aitor and yourself. Helping us was just a byproduct. What are you waiting for? Don't know what to do? But Barney! Barney, wait! I mean, I've killed way more punks. Thank you guys. So. Search all dead bodies real quick. Fuck you, figures. Herman, where are you? I'm looking for Sophie. <laughs> Sophie. Damn it, this isn't about you, Herman! Get out of my way! Ah! 
Come on, you fucking grizzly. Come on. Come on. Mm. Wanna play it? Hey. I'm sorry, Herman. I'm really starting to like you, Herman. you come from? I've got a sixth sense, kid. I knew you were gonna get in trouble. Barney wanted to kill you. It means he has something to hide. Something about Lucas, or worse. What do you mean? The murder of the commander. Now the takeover of the water tower. That's no coincidence, Aiden. Barney has long been looking to get out from behind his sister's shadow and rid Villador of the peacekeepers himself. I'll try to find him. Be careful. I'll go warn Eto. Let's keep in touch. Okay. okay. Barney, come out! Come on, man. I will find you. First of all, let me open this. Shush! My phone. What? Put my phone all the way across the table. Oh, sweat pants. Nice. And that. Oh, I can. Okay. Let's see. Okay, okay. Got no points so far. Hey, if you ask nicely, I'll shoot you in the head. And if not, you'll spend a long time dying until you turn. So, you'll be the one dying, Barney. You're supposed to stop him, not kill him. Give me the weapon. Give it to me, brother. <sighs> Hope you know what you're doing. So this is the thanks I get for helping? Death is how we thank traitors. You didn't say you were working for Aiden. I don't work for Aiden, I work for myself. No one can remain neutral in this, Aiden. Oh, come on, Wi-Fi. We're <laughs> fighting for survival. Without water, the whole bazaar will die in under a month. And the peacekeepers, they won't help us. Just like when my mother died. They just sat and watched us die. Turns out, you're one of them. You don't care about us. Tell me, why should I not kill you? Sophie, shoot! What are you waiting for? Because we can help each other. Who killed Lucas? He thinks we killed him. Sophie, talk to me. Did you do it? No. Sophie, what the hell? Why do you care about this murderer? What did Ator promise you? Ator promised me passage to the center. That's why I'm helping him. And you believe him? Just like that? At least he didn't try to kill me. He wasn't the one you betrayed. But I can help you too. Help us with the water. And I'll take you to the central loop myself. Okay, first, Please. I did not betray you. I'm helping investigate a murder, and that's different. As for your offer, isn't the only way through controlled by the PK? There is another way. Do you really believe that I'd just trust you again? We need each other. You didn't tell us you were working with the PK, so we made assumptions. Things are getting more dangerous, and we all need to be careful. You tried to kill me, Sophie. I swear on the memory of Bertie, Susie, Logan, Ralph, and Herman, I'm sure. If you help us, we'll take you to the center. How do you know I killed Herman? Will you help? Fine. Oh my gosh, my phone keeps going up. Shut up! Jack and Joe escaped. We have a chance to take the tower and finally reclaim the water. Before fucking Ator does. We'll deal with the peacekeepers and getting you to the center immediately afterwards. First, we need to secure access to water. How is he not dead? It's almost impossible without a winch. And I Joe's stabbed men him 50,000 times. That's why I'm asking you. How is Herman not dead? So you want me to climb it? If you do, you'll save a great many people, Aiden. 
We won't forget this. Okay. I saw the blood come out of you. I saw you bleed to death, Herman. How are you not dead? Aiden, what's the status? It looks like the bandits fled the water tower. It's unoccupied. Sophie says once I help them get the water back, she'll show me another passage to the oh, central loop. Crap. Sounds good. She grew up here. She knows every inch of this place. Better than most taxi drivers. <laughs> but watch out for Joe, Aiden. The guy's a clown, but he's dangerous. He's Joe. The doubt he just run off like that. Come on, man. After falling off. Get up. And make another save. Zone. skill See, just like that they're gone okay leave me alone Sophie Jack and Joe are in the tower they're gonna blow it up God. if they do we will have no water source come on Aiden Try to disarm the charges. Inhibitor container uh, detected. Um. Respawn at last story point? Uh, I broke the game. Sophie, Jack and Joe are going to They're going to blow it up. Dear God. If they do, we will have no water source. Come on. I'm going to watch uh, TikTok. Try to disarm so. the charges. Yeah. I disarmed the. Okay. Tip the ball. Say what now? Okay, I just found the bomb. Sophie, Jack and Joe are in the tower. They're gonna blow it up. Dear God. If they do, we will have Plural the water explosives. Force. Come on, Aiden. The tower is mined. Try to disarm the charges. I know it. Where's the other one? There you go. On the explosives. Got it. How many are there? Three. Okay. The I, got it. I did it. I did it. I did it. <laughs> oh yes. Okay. Let's go. I'm gonna upgrade us. That inhibitor thing. So let's go into skills. Oh dang! I need one more. Boom! 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 What the heck? <laughs> Cutscene. I'm gonna get shot in the face. Up, <laughs> oh, Aiden. Up. Oh. Of course, the is up. Either the bizarre jackholes or the PK. They'll be honest the moment you forget that the main character's name in this game is Aiden. We lost it, man. We lost it. But it's spelled A I D N, not A. That's a. It's not spelled A D E N. Who's there? Stop! Or we'll blow the goddamn tower! I swear. I found the bombs. Let's talk. The time for talking is over. We're gonna fuck this place up. You're not listening. You're done. I want it to be over. And to leave the city yeah, safely. I right, help me. Pull it! Pull help the trigger! You. You're fooling dare you. yourself, Jack. Nobody's letting us out of here alive. Look, I am a pilgrim. Let's just blow it up already. Pull, pull the detonator. Here, push I the detonator. I know Nothing's gonna do. happen. Don't listen to him, Jack. It's over. Fuck it Fertilizing, up! Fertilizing, yeah. I don't know. I'm scared. Pull the detonator. Joe, wait. I mean, Joe. Trigger the detonator. Hey, Whatever. Isn't that the pilgrim who showed up at the bazaar recently? Maybe. Pilgrim or Pope. So what? Don't you get it? If he's a pilgrim, he can get us out. Lead us out of the city to someplace safe. 
I don't trust that fucker. You don't trust what? anyone. What? I told you to play nice with Barney when we had the chance. Fucking Barney listen to me for once. Well, play nice with what? Barney? What for? To make him get the fuck out of the bazaar. And to what we found say? out from the peacekeepers. One of the we characters the fucker, is named Barney. Him a to run. But he thought he was too clever for that. Except he's not childish. Except for about eating, bro. About Luke is wanting it's to just take names of people living in a zombie apocalypse. But set a trap for him for weeks. And instead of politely getting the fuck out of here, <laughs> he tried to play cute instead. So, Barney knew Lucas was after him. The moron wanted to start a war in old Villador. And you asked me, there's something the last to thing show we you need? on Monday. Money, <coughs> crystals? Uh. That's a different story. That's why I it? tried to put an end to that rabbit You'll dog and his sister. I to, I'm too impatient. So, I can't wait. Pilgrim, uh, oh, two will days. you get us out of the city or what? have to wait. Calm down, Joe. I won't fucking calm down. Is it for me? Get us out of the city, Pilgrim. To the nearest Whoa. safe settlement. Sure. And no one will sort die of. here. Sort of. Yeah. Sort of. I can get you out of town. But first, I have my own business to take care of. You need to hide somewhere and wait. Bro, is that a, are like those a freaking risk. boat no propellers risk, on no that thing? Pain. Nah, it's He's bad. There's no other. Well, it looks like he took the uh, the I don't like the it. propellers up up the uh, motor of but a okay. boat and just stuck we'll them on the stick. The tunnels, now he's got a murder weapon. We'll like give you a signal when we get there. Good choice. Now yeah. give me the detonator, Jack. Joe Mama. No, that's Jack. Joe Mama's right behind us. Jack and Joe. These two guys are named Jack, uh, Jack and Joe, the guys who tried to blow up the tower. That's why, um, uh, so what now, that's why I had to disarm the bomb. Who gets but, control of the water? Why'd you, why'd you say Joe Mama, though? I said Joe Mama because it's funny. His name's literally Joe. City alignment. When you were assigned up a... When you were assigned a facility to peacekeepers or survivors, when you assign a facility to peacekeepers or survivors, they start controlling the zone around it. Um, I'm with, literally walking this faster than this tractor will go. When a when a faction takes over a zone, it introduces its structures. Peacekeepers start installing calm combat. Uh, focus traps while survivors build parkour helpers that make traveling easier. Oh, uh, what the Peace. heck? There, the more facilities you assign to to, uh, to a faction, um, the stronger it gets, so it can install even better structures. The current state of city alignment can be used, assessed in the map menu. Right, so do they fight or do they just? That's for you to figure out. Trap. Okay, I can make. Car traps bring water to the zone. Zip lines. Ooh, zip lines are fun. Ooh, I'm gonna do that. Do that. Zip lines. That's money. Yeah. It's it is cold in here. Trophy ah. earned under pressure. Under pressure. Under pressure. I like how you and me both say, think the, the same thing. Thought of the same thing. Under pressure. Thing. Woo! Parkour, baby! Haven't seen my kids in <laughs> Peacekeeper territory, survivor territory, peacekeeper. Survivor, survivor. <gasps> Is that my windmill? Whatever. So all these areas are literally by their own. I can't see that. Right there we go. What do I what do I do? Oh, there we go. 
I didn't see the X on the top of the screen. Hack on. Hey then, where the fuck are you? Here he comes. Barney knew Lucas was trying to capture him. Jack and Joe warned him. He could have avoided the trap, but he went into it anyway. That's when Lucas was killed. Maybe we should check out Barney's hideout at the Hotel Tango. I'll make sure the place is safe. <laughs> Ooh, these zip lines are fun. Stuff. Coast is clear now. So I forgot, yeah, this whole territory is just parkour. Cool. What the where's the screen? Okay. I can I could have died if I didn't find my flashlight. Sure, I guess. I don't even have to move the dang pick. That easy. Give me one of those. That was easy. Why did I, why did I pick it? What the heck? Literally no point in that. Someone's on bodies in here. Eight thousand dollars. Like that. Here's something. Oh Wait, what the God. hell? What is Fuck. That? That's that's human skin. Hakon, I found the tattoo they cut out of Lucas. Damn freaks. What? Yeah. Mm. Oh, that's really oh, so weird right now. Get the hell out of there! We dead ain't no That is disgusting. Dear stuff? God. Ah. Oh. Didn't know they were hiring pilgrims as housekeepers in this hole. Are you shedding skin, Barney? What the fuck is it? We didn't a little piece of Lucas to remember him by, you sicko. Fuck you. Nice try. But that ain't mine. I'll kill you, you son of a bitch! <laughs> If I kill you first, boy. What the heck? My screen just turned black. Stop it! What's oh, going I on him. here, for fuck's sake? Are you nuts? Oh no, I knocked him out. He's, he's setting us up. This fucking pilgrim is framing us. What is he talking about, Aiden? I found the proof. Hidden among your things. Proof? O of what? You cut the tattoo from Commander Lucas's arm. After his death, or when he was still alive. You're out of your mind. I didn't do it. Maybe you didn't. But your crazy brother? Barney's not a psycho. We have nothing to do with Lucas's death. I'm going to aid her. I've got the proof he's looking for. Aiden, it's not us. Nobody at the bazaar will believe you. Doesn't matter. This is between you and Ader now. Wait! Please. Ader doesn't care about the truth. He doesn't care about finding the real killer. He's only looking for a reason to raid the bazaar. It's not my war, Sophie. No. But you'll have blood on your hands. Blood of innocence. He already has blood Someone on his hands. Someone is setting us up. Someone clever. We're not sadists who would skim Lucas, Aiden. And you know it. But I know that you want to get rid of the PKs. Yes, and we will get rid of them. But not like psychos and assassins, Aiden. Believe me, this is a setup. I'll help you get to the center. I promise. How? By getting rid of the biggest problem of this land. The PKs. <sighs> that seems dangerous. We've been preparing for this for a long time. I'll tell you everything when I'm ready. Stay close to your radio, Aiden. Time to make some changes around here. Not like changes have already been made. It's not like I claimed a whole territory. Built a whole little mini town. Just because of a windmill. Alright everyone, that's just gonna be that's gonna be the end of this video. Um Hopefully it wasn't too long. Hopefully I didn't have to cut some cut. A lot of parts out.
but I probably still have to, so you guys don't get the crap bored out of it. Wait, what? The bo the the boredom. No, oh my god, B boring the crap out of you guys. Okay, jeez, that took me forever. But if you enjoyed, like, subscribe. Um, since Aiden's here, subscribe to him as well. I just died, and I'll see you guys in the next one. <laughs> see ya.